So I'm currently in my intro Power BI file, the one that has the data that I just loaded. And I want to go back into the Power Query editor by clicking on Transform Data. Remember that the Apply Steps area represents the different transformations that have been applied to this data set. Also remember that each transformation is powered by the M language and that's why you can see some codes in the formula bar. So if I go into the advanced editor, which I can get to by coming to the view tab here and clicking advanced editor. I'm going to see this script, this M script that basically translates to having all my transformation steps up until the final output that I have. So I'm going to copy this script. If I click inside the advanced editor box, I will press Ctrl A on my keyboard to highlight everything. Then I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy. Then I want to head over to the blank Power BI file that I have opened. So this is the blank Power BI file. As you can see, it is untitled. And as you can also see, when you check on the fields area, there is no data here. So I will come over here to get data. However, I don't want to get data per se because I already have a script that defines all transformation steps right from the source of the data up until every single transformation that I applied. So what I want to do now is to select a blank query. So my blank query selected, I have my Power Query Editor window for this my blank Power BI file opened waiting for me to write my M codes. But what I want to do is to paste in the script that I copied from the completed file. So if I go to the View tab on this blank file and I click on Advanced Editor, I obviously have my Advanced Editor window. I will click inside this Advanced Editor. I'm going to press Ctrl A on my keyboard to highlight this. Then I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste and override what is currently here. Then I'm going to click Done. As you can see, the entire script basically is going to generate the same output as I had on the previous data set. It is called Query 1. If I want to rename this, I can easily come to the name box here and I can rename this but I just want to leave it like this for now and even if I wanted to close and apply this I could go to home and I can click on close and apply however because I am an advocate of laziness I will also like to show you the lazy approach of doing exactly the same thing so let me go back to the other original file so this is the original file. I'm going to close the advanced editor. This is our original query. And all I need to do is to right click on the name of this query like this. And I'm going to see an option to copy. So when I select that copy option, I will go back to my new file. And I'm going to right click within the queries panel. Just any empty place within this panel is where I will right click. And I'm going to select paste. And as you can see, lazy ways are always cool.